Hey everybody, what's up? Um, so I got the centipede cabinet and I'm assembling it now. And while I was doing that, I thought I would go ahead and do a video on uh, how to decase the Dell E1715S monitor and mount that um, in the arcade one up. So let's crack open a cold one. And we'll get started. All right, so first thing we got to do, get these screws out. You'll want a decent sized screwdriver or powered whatever, and then you'll need a very small screwdriver as well. And you'll see in a minute some of the interior uh, screws are really, really small that are on the sides when we start to take out the uh, arcade one-up monitor and we, when we have to put the new one in. All right, get rid of that. Okay, so that's all you have to do for that to take those six screws off and then you just have to pop this off. It's just got little, little plastic tabs around the edge. Uh, I use a knife. I don't recommend using a knife. Uh, you probably want to use uh, some, you know, plastic. But I don't really care about maintaining this case, and <laughs> I think I can control it enough that I'm not gonna, you know, get the the monitor itself. Just be careful. Take your time. Work your way around the edge. And the, the tabs, all you have to do is just get them out a little bit, uh, just pulled out a little bit, and, and they'll just pop right out. This little frame will pop out. That one's a little snug. Out, girl <laughs> this is my dog buttercup she is uh coming to help me i don't know if you can see her there <laughs> she's trying to stick her head up on the counter all right so now the monitor will come right on out look out girl look out down down all right so now we're just going to pop this out Well, most of the stuff inside this monitor is just kind of taped in place. Um, there's no real screws inside here that I remember. Uh, this whole board has just got some tape around it. Just be careful when you're taking the tape off. Uh, don't, you know, especially on this cable right here. Uh, other than that, you're fine. And then you've got this little cable here that's for the backlight. So take that off. Be careful again with this one. Not that you care about the cable because you're going to take the cable off. You, just, you don't want to damage the connector. Um, you don't really care about the cable. Unless for some reason you wanted to put that monitor back in this one and kind of reassemble it, uh, in which case you'll just need some more tape or whatever. Um, I'm not going to bother with that because I just don't really care about the old monitor. I don't like it for the arcade and I wouldn't want to use it to work on either. So, I mean, you could sell it like you could resell the monitor probably, you know, uh, I wouldn't sell it as an E1715. I would, you know, say it was a TN monitor or whatever. Uh, yeah, so once you got that, uh, this is the monitor decased, and I'll, I'll clean the monitor once I get it in there. Uh, but these are the little side screws I was talking about. They're going to be inside 
when we start decasing the arcade one up. I'm just gonna move this stuff out of the way. All right, get this out of the way. Beer out of the way. All right, let me make sure I'm still recording here. Yep, all right, looks good. Okay, so to get to the RK 1UP monitor, you can't get to it from the back. You do have to take the plexi off, so you take all the screws off of the plexi. I take these off anyway. I don't take them off, but I always loosen them uh, to take this uh, protective film off. If you just loosen the screws up, a you know, like a quarter turn or you know, half turn, then you can get it off without having a mess. They'll just pull right out. The film will pull out, and then you just snug them back down. I'm gonna leave the film on until I get this fully done. I'm gonna try my best not to let anything get on the back side of the plexi, but it'll probably happen, I'm sure. Beeps. If you clean the back of the plexi, be super careful. This plaque, this plexi is, I swear it's made of butter. It, it is so easy to scratch. Um, I scratched mine up on my joust a little bit. I, I had a microfiber cloth, glass cleaner, the whole nine yards. But I guess I had a little something on the microfiber cloth uh, in the material because it sure as heck scratched it. That side. Okay. So now you've got these eight screws around here. Oh, and I want to say thank you again to 19K Fox for doing the research and finding this monitor. Uh, I, ha, having a good replacement for this monitor made all the difference in the world for my joust cabinet. And if it does the same for the centipede, which I assume it will, uh, then totally amazing. Love it. Uh, it's not an expensive replacement. It's just time consuming, a little tedious. Um, I would I would have gladly paid an extra seventy five dollars a hundred dollars you know just to have it done you know uh, in the monitor I mean uh, you know in the original cab and not have to do this but uh, all right I'm taking off the Wi-Fi cable right now you could probably get by without having to take this all the way apart uh, but I want to be able to show it to you okay so you've got these screws here this is what's actually holding the monitor in the frame and be careful when you take the monitor out because the cables are connected, obviously. This one's got a little sticker on it, a little QC quality control warranty sticker or whatever. moving a little bit there we go okay so as you're taking it off that's kind of what it what it starts to look like so I'm just gonna lay it down here. there we go I 
I just leave this tape attached to the wire because uh, I'm going to re-tape it when I put it in the other monitor. This is some strong tape, <laughs> by the way. There we go. All right, so that's the backlight. Toilet the tape a little bit. So I'm going to put that right there, and I'll use that on the other monitor. So now that we've got the backlight off, we'll work on this one. Now, this cable you definitely do want to be careful with because this one is the one you're keeping. You've got a little bit of that tough tape in here as well. Again, I'm going to use that tape on the Dell. There we go. And you've got a couple of little metal tabs here. You just squeeze those metal tabs in and pull that off. That's it for that. So we can take the old monitor and get rid of it. All right. And then the new monitor. If you still have your tape on there, uh, you can kind of figure out which direction it goes, but the red wires go to the right, and there's a black dot on mine. I assume that's on all of them. A little bit fiddly. There we go. But it shouldn't take much force uh, to get that on there. So don't, don't hulk it. I'm going to tape that back down. I don't know that you need it. I mean, it's not like the monitor's going anywhere, but. Makes sense for shipping. All right. And then we saved this little piece of tape down here. Put our backlight in. Take that back down. Take the cable back down. All right. And now we can start putting the screws in. Oop, missed it a little bit. There we go. All right. There we go. Put my QC sticker one back in there so it's perfect. You can't even tell, right? Right. And I know, you know, in the comments, there's been a lot of people talk about the monitor that comes with it. Uh, when you're playing the cabinet, you don't, you don't really notice it that much. I mean, it's, it's fine. It plays fine. It doesn't affect your ability to play the cabinet at all. But in terms of just the overall quality of the cabinet, when you're looking at it in, you know, in your room, especially if you have multiple cabinets, uh, you know, some with the BOE monitors, um, you definitely see the difference between the TN monitor and the, and the, B, the uh, BOE monitors. Once you have this one installed, you won't notice the difference. It, it looks almost just like the BOEs. Um, so I definitely recommend uh, swapping it if that's important to you. You know, if just the aesthetic of the cabinet is important to you. If you just want to play the game, uh, you don't need to swap the monitor. There's just really no need. Uh, it, it looks great uh, while you're playing. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab some glass cleaner. Ah, 
let's see. Okay. I'm only cleaning it because I saw some actual dots on it, some spots. Uh, watch the edges on this thing. Uh, they're they're really sharp. If you got, especially if you got kids helping you with the project or whatnot, uh, these things are like they'll definitely cut you. All right, so oh, look at that! All right. And just make sure you got it lined back up right in the bottom with the black cable at the bottom. I think it's hard. Yeah, that's right. They got it notched anyway. Uh, right up here, there's a notch. So you can't really mess it up. And now we just put it back together. I mean, at this point... <laughs> We're pretty much done. Uh, all I'm going to do is uh, I'll just I'll finish the assembly. We'll we'll get the plexi on here, uh, and then I'll end the video. But uh, at this point, you know you're you're pretty much done. Put this on. Put the plexi on. Put the screws in. Take your film off, and you're off to the races. If you do this before you put the cabinet together, uh, I'm out at the step where I'm ready to install the monitor in the cabinet. Um, then you don't have to worry about uh, taking the monitor back out of the cabinet, which was the biggest pain in the butt uh, of doing it. Uh, if you have to do that, at least on my joust cabinet, I was able to loosen all the screws on the on both sides of the cabinet um, just till they were just outside of the cabinet. You know, not completely out, but um, where the head of the, the screw was just above flush with the cabinet. And then... Uh, just pull it apart a little bit, undo the screws uh, on the, where the plastic hits the cabinet, not from the monitor itself, but do it from the sides of the cabinet. And then you can kind of work the monitor out of the cabinet without having to take that side panel off. Uh, I think I think pretty much any, anyone would agree that putting these cabinets together, the biggest pain in the butt is putting that last panel on and trying to line up all those little wooden dowels and whatnot. Uh, so if you don't have to do that, that's a better. But yeah, if, you, if you're going to do it, just go ahead and order the monitor and have it. Um, and then you can just do it you know, before you install it. The only downside to that, uh, and something you might want to do, uh, I thought about doing it, and I said, no, you know what? I'm just going to wing it. Uh, you, you might want to hook it up to power, like hook the old original monitor up to power, hook, you know, plug your control panel in, uh, just to make sure that everything works uh, before you put your monitor in. And you might want to test your, you know, your Dell E1715. Uh, that would be the smart thing to do. But I was being lazy and said, you know what, I'm just going to give it a shot. I'm just going to try my luck. So I'll either be posting a video later uh, showing off Centipede with the new monitor and everything, or I'll be crying in the corner and uh, 
putting all this back together again, trying to figure out if it's the arcade one up board that's broken or the monitor. So we'll see. So I'm not snugging these all the way down. I'm leaving them loose uh, because I'm going to take the flexi uh, film off. But I wanted it on here so I don't mess up and get fingerprints behind it. Uh, so this way the screws will kind of hold it down while I take the film off. And if they had put a vertical monitor in this thing, I think this cabinet would be perfect. I absolutely love the art on it. The marquee is beautiful. <sighs> Control panel is great. I mean, it's like I love so much about this about this dang cabinet. That vertical. It, you know what's 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 bad? You you know they're going to do it. They're going to put out a dang version of this machine at some point. They're going to put out a centipede with a vertical monitor, and I'm going to have to replace this damn thing again. I uh, already had the Atari Tempest cabinet. Really, really like that cabinet, but it doesn't have online leaderboards. I can't get online updates. They still haven't flashed the firmware to fix the Asteroids uh, audio issue. So I'm stuck. I just I can't even play Asteroids on it because that double fire audio just bugs me so much. Um, and I don't want to play anything on it anyway because I just play those games on my pedestal since I don't have the online leaderboards. Um, but anyway... Um, yeah, so I'm already replacing it once, um, and if they if they ever come out with a centipede with a vertical monitor again, uh, I will I will replace it because I would love 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 to have this thing with a vertical monitor. Centipede is definitely one of my favorite games. I also really love Tempest. Uh, uh, if this if the Tempest cabinet had all of these features if they had done the uh if it, if it had online leaderboards and they had done the left side buttons right you know so you could play missile command um with the three buttons without having that kind of wonky you know having to push the player to start button thing way up there uh, i would have just kept the tempest cabinet i would have been fine with that I, I really really like that cabinet but i can't i just i don't know i can't justify keeping both as they have this, you know, pretty much the same exact games. Uh, if I have more space, maybe. But I don't feel like I have enough room to uh, keep two nearly identical cabinets. Uh, I love the fact that this one has the coin door. Uh, I know they're fake, uh, but I think they they really add to the illusion uh, of the machines. Be careful with these screws. Don't uh, don't bear down on them because you can break the plexi pretty easy. Um, so I, I tend to kind of use just my fingers when I'm when I'm tightening. Up. All right, that's it. And now now it's nice and clean. You don't have any you know that plastic residue <laughs> that you have to try to peel out. Uh, so that's it for that. Uh, we'll put the monitor cable in and that's it and now uh, I'll go assemble the rest of the cabinet and I'll do a review in uh, just a few all right guys see you later I uh, hope uh, that helps someone